Behind me is a place that could be on the verge of solving one of the biggest mysteries in the universe. The Large Hadron Collider will be able to detect new particles and start a physics revolution. You can think about this a little bit like a time machine. For years, scientists have been searching for a magnetic particle that has only one pole, a north or a south, but not both. These elusive magnetic monopoles have remained an enigma to researchers, with all attempts to find them coming up empty-handed. The existence of these particles could explain a lot of mysterious phenomena in the universe, including the quantization of electric charge. But just when it seemed like we were at a dead end, a team of scientists at CERN stumbled upon a discovery that left the entire scientific community stunned. Join us on this journey to uncover what exactly the researchers at CERN found and how it could change our understanding of the universe forever. You know what goes on at CERN, the world's largest particle physics laboratory, where scientists work tirelessly to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. Well, the latest news from CERN is about to shake up the scientific community and potentially rewrite the laws of modern physics as we know them. Startlingly, subatomic neutrino particles might have travelled faster than the speed of light through the 17-mile-long particle collider, a feat previously thought impossible. The only hitch? Nothing is supposed to be able to exceed the speed of light. Albert Einstein, renowned as the father of modern physics, based his groundbreaking special theory of relativity on the steadfast law that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, which is a staggering 299,792,458 meters per second. But what if there's more to the story? Recent experiments at CERN may just be the key to unlocking the mysteries of a more complex reality than Einstein could ever have imagined. For over a century, his theories have paved the way for remarkable technological advancements. But what if they're just the tip of the iceberg? Enter quantum physics, the mind-bending science of subatomic particles, which has sparked wild concepts like wormholes, alternate dimensions, and the possibility of time travel. It's a world beyond our wildest dreams, and CERN's ambitious research aims to prove that it's all real. Ten years ago, when scientists at CERN were smashing particles together at insane speeds, they were searching for the Higgs boson, otherwise known as the God particle, which is believed to be the tiniest particle in existence. Scientists were hoping at the time that the discovery of the Higgs boson would unlock the secrets of the strong force, an immensely powerful attraction that binds together particles of the same polarity, like magnets that would otherwise repel each other. Just a few months ago, the brilliant minds at CERN managed to isolate antimatter for a full 1,000 seconds. But their latest revelation has truly set the scientific world ablaze. Why? because it could change everything we know about technology and time itself. You see, the theory of relativity famously states that nothing can travel faster than light. But what if that isn't entirely true? The researchers at CERN have measured a neutrino beam traveling 60 nanoseconds faster than the speed of light, with a margin of error of only 10 nanoseconds. If this data is correct, it means that we may have just breached the time barrier a feat that was once thought impossible. Of course, the researchers are still seeking peer evaluation to confirm their findings. But if they're right, it could be the most groundbreaking discovery in the history of science. As CERN spokesman James Gillies put it, the feeling that most people have is this can't be right, this can't be real. Chang Ki Young, a physicist specializing in neutrinos at Stony Brook University in New York, isn't so sure about the recent discovery of faster-than-light particles. According to Young, who is also the US spokesperson for a similar experiment in Japan, the timing of the neutrino's journey is crucial and the global positioning system used to measure it can have a margin of error of up to tens of nanoseconds. While he's not saying that the researchers at CERN are wrong, Young believes that there may be a systematic error that has yet to be identified, and he's not the only one who's skeptical. Dr. Alan Kostelecki, a theoretical physicist who has spent the last 25 years working on the standard model extension, which predicts possible breaches of special relativity in particle physics, agrees that the results should be taken with a grain of salt. He points out that while previous measurements have put limits on what neutrinos are capable of, 
nothing has definitively ruled out the possibility of faster than light travel. Kostelecki emphasizes that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and until the findings are independently confirmed, he remains cautiously optimistic. Now let's delve into another mind-blowing revelation that has occurred at the CERN facility. The Large Hadron Collider, which currently operates at an impressive 6.5 TeV per beam energy, is a complex machine that propels trillions of particles around its 27-kilometer tunnel at lightning speed. To achieve such a feat, over 50 different types of magnets are utilized to guide the particles along their intricate paths, with each magnet serving a unique purpose. The LHC's powerful electromagnets, known as main dipoles, produce a magnetic field 100,000 times stronger than that of the Earth, with each one weighing a colossal 35 tons and measuring 15 meters in length. Without superconducting coils to allow high currents to flow, it would be impossible to maintain such strong magnetic fields. These magnets, along with the lattice magnets, are responsible for keeping the beam stable and perfectly aligned. With such precision, dipole magnets then step in to bend the particle paths to handle tighter turns. It's hard to imagine what would happen if ordinary magnets were used instead of the superconducting ones, as the accelerator would need to be over four times as long to achieve the same level of energy. However, last year in July, a team of researchers at the Large Hadron Collider were searching for monopoles, which are magnetic particles with only one pole, produced by a proposed phenomenon known as the Schwinger effect. They were using the most powerful magnetic field ever measured, produced by smashing two beams of lead particles together at extraordinary speeds. This magnetic field measured about 1016 Tesla, making it about 2 billion times stronger than a typical fridge magnet and 100,000 times stronger than the magnetic field from a magnetar, a highly magnetized neutron star. Despite being the most sensitive search for magnetic monopoles at accelerators, the researchers found no monopoles, but they were able to place the first strong limits on the mass of these particles. They cannot be less than 70 times the mass of a proton. However, after these experiments, the organization made a rather strange announcement, stating that a fracture had opened up in the magnetic field of the Earth and remained open for 14 hours. This announcement led to speculation on social media that CERN was opening a doorway and that something otherworldly would pass through. Afterwards, scientists confirmed the opening of a hole in the Earth's magnetic field, but they reassured the public that it does not pose any immediate threat to our planet. The opening of the hole, however, allows the passage of intense solar winds, which the researchers have acknowledged. The Earth's magnetic field is a vital component of our planet, but it's often overlooked in everyday conversations. This magnetic field keeps our compasses pointed north and shields us from the harmful effects of solar winds, which could otherwise cause severe damage to our ozone layer. But how did this crack form? Well, it turns out that this particular breach was caused by a rare phenomenon known as co-rotating interaction region, CIR, from the Sun. Essentially, these are massive plasma structures that are created when fast and slow moving streams of solar wind collide in the heliosphere's lower and intermediate latitudes. The heliosphere is the space surrounding the Sun that contains the solar magnetic field and solar winds. These CIRs can contain coronal mass ejections CMEs, which are propelled out from the Sun and can cause turbulent space weather and breathtaking aurorae. On July 7th, a CME embedded in the solar wind ahead of the CIR hit the Earth's magnetic field, causing a long-lasting G1 geomagnetic storm. While cracks in the Earth's magnetic field are common, experts say there's no need to worry because this field acts as a shield, protecting us from solar storms. These fissures usually open and close quickly, but recent cracks have shown that they can remain open for several hours at a time. And recently, NASA has been keeping a close eye on an unusual anomaly in the Earth's magnetic field that has caused a decrease in magnetic intensity, particularly in an area spanning South America and Southwest Africa. Known as the South Atlantic Anomaly, it has puzzled scientists for years. While it may not affect life on Earth, it poses a significant threat to spacecraft in Earth's orbit, which are vulnerable to high-energy particles from the Sun. 
The reduced strength of the magnetic field during these periods can cause technical disruptions in these satellites, leading to malfunctions and other issues. To make matters worse, recent reports show that the Sun has been more active than ever, with 17 eruptions detected in a single area, two of which hit Earth at nearly 2 million miles per hour. This poses a real danger to communication networks and power grids, as we saw in early 2022 when SpaceX lost 40 satellites due to a geomagnetic storm. As astronomers and astronauts aboard ISS continue to study and monitor CMEs and solar flares, it becomes clear that they must take precautions to protect our technology and prevent potential disasters. Furthermore, have you heard of sunspots? They are some of the most remarkable features of the Sun, known for their incredible magnetic fields and the radiation they emit in the form of solar flares. They appear as dark spots on the Sun's surface because they are cooler than the surrounding area. But don't be fooled by their appearance. Despite their cooler temperatures, these spots are still extremely hot, reaching up to 6,500 degrees Fahrenheit. This is because they form in areas with incredibly strong magnetic fields that block some of the sun's heat from reaching the surface. Recently, a particularly active sunspot known as AR2975 produced a powerful solar storm that caused a beautiful natural light show called the Northern Lights. However, while these events can be stunning to behold, larger solar storms can be incredibly destructive. G3 storms, for example, can cause problems with radio and satellite navigation, and a massive G3 storm could even knock out the global internet. In 1859, the Carrington event produced the largest solar storm ever recorded, causing damage to telegraph systems around the world and creating auroras brighter than the full moon. With all this in mind, should CERN take extra caution with their experiments in future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.